Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Slides to outline the flow of an app that you're designing. This is something I'm doing with my freshman computer science students right now, and I thought I'd make a video to show you exactly how it's going together. So you can see here I have my Google Slides, and we have a simple app demo slide. We have a slide for menu one, and then we have our first slide here for menu one, item one. And then we're doing this so that students can see how their app will flow and also so that they can present it to the class before they go into actually building the app using the MIT App Inventor. This is really designed to get them to think about the flow and think about all the parts of the app that they're going to need. So this is going to be the home screen of the app, if you will. We see here, click here to get started. So we'll highlight that. And then just use that insert link function and insert a link to the slides in the presentation. So we're going to go to the next slide here and apply it. Now we go to menu one, which is where the app will take you after you hit the click here on the home screen. And we'll go to item one. and link that up and say slides in this presentation and we're going to go to the slide that says menu one item one and apply that now here on menu one item one you can see here we're going to fill in the details about item one but we don't want the app to just end here we want the app to be able to take you into different places from here. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to add a home button. So you can do this by using the word home and putting in some text and just writing the word home and then link that up and you can make home be any of the slides in the presentation. It could be the first slide which would be the home screen here or you could go back to menu one. Either way would be fine in this case. Or, rather than using just a word, you can start to introduce the idea of using an icon. So I have a little icon here. And if you want to edit this, you certainly can. You can crop that. Use the cropping tools and make it smaller if you want. Take out some of the space around the icon itself. But what we're going to do is now that we have it highlighted, so there's the item we're going to highlight it to the insert link button slides in this presentation we go back to menu one now as we add more things perhaps we're going to add another slide and we'll call it menu one item two And we'll put it, just say the info goes here. And again, we can put in that icon for home so that people can go back to the home menu, whichever menu you choose that choose for that to be. Or you could also have them link to, let's say in this case, back to item one in which case you would highlight that and of course you can replace that text with an icon and there we go to the previous slide now of course when we go back to the menu we need to highlight that and choose the correct slide all the way through So now if we're looking at this from a presentation mode, take a look at it now. The students who are presenting this can click here to get started They go to item two. They can click on the home button, go back to item one, click on the home button, go to item two. They also have the option here to go back to item one. And the home button takes them back 
to the menu. So that's how you can use Google Slides to begin to plan the flow of a mobile app. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or practicaledtech.com or just subscribe to this YouTube channel.